Hey folks, welcome back for another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. I really appreciate you joining us once again. Folks, it's about 7 a.m. on a Sunday morning. I got my Yoder Wichita getting fired up. Got some pecan wood on it. We're going to be cooking us a pork butt today. And we're going to be checking out some new products from Lobel's. Y'all go to lobel's.com and check these things out. This is their dry rub, all right? And this has sugar in it, so you don't want to be grilling with this. This is for smoking and for low, low and slow cooking. Uh, let me tell you what the ingredients are. It's got salt, brown sugar, garlic, black pepper, paprika, uh, red pepper, and coffee grounds. And look, you can actually see the red pepper flakes in that too. Oh yeah. I can smell that coffee in there. Ooh, it's going to be good. All right, and also, this is another new product for them. This is their barbecue sauce, folks. We're going to check this out. I haven't tasted this yet. It's still, you know, still sealed up. And they sent me pork butt, Berkshire pork. If you haven't had Berkshire pork, y'all got to check this out. It's so much better than what you can get from your local stores. There you go, pork butt. Got me a little bit of yellow mustard, just acting as a binder. A lot of you have asked, and no, you cannot taste the mustard after this is cooked. I'm going to be cooking this fat side up. Get that all in there like that. Coat both sides of this. I'm gonna do flip it around, do the other side with mustard. We're gonna coat it up, and we'll be right back, folks. I'm gonna put it over here, and uh, this side is right now about 225. So we're gonna shut her, shut the lid on it. We're gonna let her rock and roll. This Howdy. is James from Aim 'em and Claim 'em Smokers. Good friend. He lives right down the road from me. So he's gonna be doing some cooking today too. I hope. Oh, we are. We got yeah. some pork butt, some ribs, and some beef ribs. Oh, it's gonna be good. All right, gang, we're back. Y'all check this out. Oh, that pork butt is looking some kind of good. Y'all check it out, all that bark on there. It's been on there for three hours. And my good friend James, he put on some beef ribs for us. Y'all check those ribs out, man. Nice, thick ribs. Nice. <laughs> all right, everybody, look. We got James and I over here. We're still cooking. The rain ceased for a little bit. It's been raining off and on all day, but uh, y'all check this out. We got Tom Jones over here from Tom's Test Kitchen joining us. Hey, folks. Hey, Troy. <laughs> Good stuff. Great, great to be here, man. Hey, appreciate you joining it's us. Smelling awesome, boys, I tell you. All right. Folks, y'all check that out. That's James's ribs. Isn't that fine? Good job, James. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Those are fine, bro. I'm gonna wrap these real quick. All right. Love and it. just let them sit back on the pit for a little bit. They're just about done. Huh? Okay. Y'all right. check out this uh, pork butt. Nice. All right. <laughs> it's jiggly, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Looking good. We'll be back. <laughs> that cut really, really well. Man, these are so soft. I'm hardly putting any pressure on this knife and it's going right through it. Look at that. We're going to get ready to taste these. All right, we're gonna take one of these, cut it up a little more. Look at that thing slice. Goodness gracious. Thank you, James. It almost looks like brisket, isn't it? No kidding, it really does. Uh, absolutely fabulous. Almost like a big burnt end. Mm-hmm. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. It is, it's like a, like a burnt end. Like a big burnt end. I like that. That's good, folks. <clears throat> Beautiful. All right, folks, fixing to pull this pork butt off. I'll check this out. Check out that bark. Lordy, Lord. Oh, man, this thing's tender, James. Oh, can't wait. Oh, my. Oh, my. Look, it's falling apart. Look. Oh, look at that. I know, man. There we go. Now we're talking. Seriously, check out that bark, man. That's for the cook right there. Woo, doggy. All right, we're going to wrap this, uh, or tent it with some foil. We'll be right back, folks. All right, folks. We're fixing to pull this pork that's breasted for about a half hour. And all you do, get you some forks or uh, your hands or some of them bear claw things. You just, you just start pulling. That's all you got to do. Easy peasy. That's all you got to do. Just start ripping it apart. Y'all can see all that, 
all that nice smoke ring stuff in happening in there in the bark. All right, folks, there you go. That's pulled pork. Again, got all that nice smoke ring on there. And look how juicy this is. Berkshire pork from Lobels.com, folks. I'm telling you, it does not get any better. Try some, James. See what you think, bro. Mm. With that, uh, again. Look at that. With that uh, Lobels rub on there. Mm. Mm. What you think, bro? <laughs> That's a win-win, folks. What you think, James? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Now, we've got this pulled pork. What are we going to do with it? Well, you can just eat it the way it is. Or you can make some pulled pork sandwiches. That's what we're going to do. I got some of this Little Bell's barbecue sauce. We're fixing to jazz these up a little bit. Let's get to cooking. All right, folks, again, we're going in with this barbecue sauce from Little Bell's of New York. You just want to kind of wet it. You don't want to get it real super sloppy. Oh, that is some kind of good. It truly is like a, almost like a Kansas City flavor. And it's got a little kick of pepper in the back and it's got a little sweet to it. All right, folks, it's been about five minutes and this is what you're looking for. Again, not super wet, just enough to kind of hold all that pork together so you can build you a sandwich. All right, folks, for any good barbecue pulled pork sandwich, you got to start off with some coleslaw. Let's do that. Put a little coleslaw down here in the bottom. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, man. Now that's a sandwich, folks. Now check that out. If you want, you can also put a little bit more of this barbecue sauce directly on top. Okay, put a little bit of tater salad right here on the side. Just like so. Yes, indeed. And folks, this is what I call a fine barbecue meal. Awesome, let's check it out. All right, folks, let's check this sandwich out. I'm gonna tell you what, this is loaded to the hilt. And man, I really hate doing this in front of you, but it comes with the territory. Whew, pulled pork sandwich, folks. Mmm. Mmm. That is, mm. That's really good, really good. I just love that smoke flavor. And barbecue sauce has some smoke flavor as well. I mean, it really complements this Berkshire pork. So folks, truly I hope y'all go check out lowbells.com. You get you some of their barbecue sauce, some of their barbecue rub. They've also got a steak sauce and marinade that you can get. It's all four brand new products. Um, you get you some of their Berkshire pork. That's the best pork on the planet. It's a heritage pork. It's truly, truly amazing stuff. Very tender, very juicy, excellent pork. As is all the products at lowbells.com. And um, while you're over there on their website, when you go to check out, if you spend $99 or more, don't forget to use the promo code TROY99. T-R-O-Y-99. And uh, you get free shipping. That's good through July 6th, 2015. So folks, I can't thank Tom and James for coming and hanging out today with me because this was a long all day cook and we had a blast, we had a good time. And uh, tell you what man, those ribs that James cooked were excellent. Those were really, really good. Good job James. And then Tom, man we had a great time with Tom as well. So folks, y'all check out their channels, the links to their channels down below in the description box. Hope you sub to them and uh, they got some great cooking videos folks. Check them out. And if you're not a sub to my channel, please go ahead and sub. Y'all give me a thumbs up. Hope y'all share this video. And when you do, please tell all of your friends that T-Boy cooks responsibly. <laughs> See y'all next time.